Well, now we're on the top side of the Jeep and we want to look at Best Tops Trek Top Pro. This is a fantastic top. Greg, come up here and show us the features and benefits of this top. Okay, the cool part about the Trek Top Pro is the fact that Best Top probably took their engineering over the cliff. I mean, they built in, I've been selling Best Top since the 80s, and Best Top on this top, they have outdone themselves. As you can see, we're looking at, they incorporated the Sunrider feature, which allows you to take your top, flip it back for nice weather driving to be able to have an open top feel. Um, also, very heavy canvas, 30 ounce canvas that has been included, which is the same as similar to, say, uh, GM Camaro or the Cadillac, any of the convertible tops you see on the upper end cars, that's the same type of material. And rattle free, noise reduction is great on the top. Uh, one of the things that they also did was incorporate a design called the halo design in the back and it's a support feature. The, the three re rear windows, the two sides are sliding and they're made out of safety glass, DOT approved. The rear window, one piece flip up design, again, it is a, it is a saf safety glass, DOT approved window. With the help of a friend, you can slide the side windows out, take the rear window off, and you have one long bikini top, which makes for great summer, great summer driving when the, when the weather warms up, when it's getting ready to get cool and snowy like it is now, everything buttons back up, it becomes a class A piece of work. Great, great top by Best Top, and uh, looking forward to see how it does during the winter. And one thing that uh, they included is the defrosters are built in the, the replacement glass as well. And, and, an optional, and an optional rear windshield wiper is available. The OE does not fit we tried that. It has to be supplied by Best Top, but there is a rear wiper a motor available if you want to do it. Yeah, great piece, great piece. The very best in soft tops in the marketplace. Yep, great job, Best Top. We're now on the side of the Jeep, and one of the points that we pointed out on the hood was the air skin. Here we have the matching components from Lund. This is the textured black matte thin visor, low profile. Yeah, the, the cool part about this, again, it fits with the matte finish of the, the way that we built the Jeep, but if you notice, it fits so tight against the window. Uh, first time I saw it was on one of the trucks, and when they brought it out for the Jeep, it, it looks as good on any, as the, the Jeep looks fantastic. Great fit, great finish, easy to install. Again, you'll see the install video coming soon for the NSF1 on YouTube, but again, great piece by Lund. Uh, it, it adds to the look and, uh, and, it, and it works great. Coming down inside of the vehicle, we've got the Navy Cell Foundation logo. Obviously, they're going to be the recipients of the Jeep. Uh, we've done a little something here. We've taken the manufacturers that have been involved. We put their logos here on top of the black in a ghosted uh, vinyl. So, so the logos are there, but they're not, they don't stand out in your face. But it's a tribute to all those manufacturers that were participants in this, in this build. Yeah, the, the, guys, the guys that were as big a part of the project as anything else are the ones you'll see on the side of the Jeep. We wanted to reflect the thank you, but we also, even though we're from the South, didn't want the NASCAR look. So we ghosted everything in, it turned out great. One of our guys on staff actually did this, which was Donnie Hurt. He did a fantastic job. So thank you guys for everybody that's down the side of this Jeep, and thanks to everybody that's helped with it. We've got AMP steps on here. Greg uh, mentioned a moment ago that these steps were part of the feature that not only uh, uh, affect the styling of the vehicle, but they also improve the access and, mobi for, and mobility for people who might be getting out of the Jeep. Yeah, the, the, the one thing I love about the amps, now uh, another piece that, that was kind of intimidating when we first started with it was the amp steps, and I'm not going to tell you a lie, there was a lot of wiring involved in it. As long as when you're installing the steps, you start at step one, go to step two, and follow the, the amp instructions, it is a clean, simple install, easy to do and, and very well, the instructions are very good, which is a pivotal part of putting one of these together. Cool, cool thing about the amps, um, as you can see now, they're in the stationary position. What we can do is when the door opens, they drop down. When the door closes, it has a short delay before and it comes up. If you're wanting to work on the vehicle, such as clean the top of it, load it for vacation, whatever you may be doing, when you close the door, a lot amount of pressure is still left on the board it will set and it will stay down. So you'll be able to access the top of your vehicle and not have any problem. Reset simply by opening the door and closing the door and it'll go back into its resting position. Great piece by AMP. Uh, uh, it's just incredible the engineering that's been put into this piece. Works fantastic. Biggest thing I'll tell you is, is that on the Jeep marketplace, 
If you're using this and you're in a very dusty or muddy environment, make sure when you get it home that you wash out the motors and all the control to get all the, the ingredients that's been picked up from the road out of the way so it doesn't become a problem later on. Great piece by him. We put Bushwhacker fender players on here. Bushwhacker is a U.S. manufacturer quality product and uh, make a fantastic player. We've got them on the front and rear of the Jeep. Yeah, one of the main reasons what we ended up doing, Bushwhacker makes two different designs for the JK. One of them is the flat panel style like what we've got on the Jeep. The other one is the button style which is the uh, the, the most branded part of the Bushwhacker flare sets. We went for the flat top simply because we wanted a greater clearance look underneath the Jeep and also basically give it a look like it had more lift while leaving it low to the ground. So we picked the Bushwhacker flares like Tim said, made in the USA, a great piece and knock on wood, these things are never going to get knocked off in the woods, but if you do, Bushwhacker will take care of them. We were able to get Bushwhacker's lighting kit to, to uh, relocate the turn signal lights and driving lights. And then as we mentioned before, you're gonna see lights all over this Jeep. Well, Greg, you installed some unique lighting underneath the vehicle as well. Yeah, what, what we've done, uh, we, we've, we've got the tantrum lights and the strip lights from Vision X. Again, great company to deal with. What happened was when we were doing the rock light or the tantrum lights, uh, I wanted a little bit different look to it. And the rock lights are designed for to go in the wheel wells and underneath the vehicle. So if you're off-roading or working on the vehicle at night, you can light the area without having to try to hold a flashlight. I wanted something different. What we did is we did in the front half of the vehicle, we did red, underneath the middle we did white, and underneath the uh, back of the Jeep we did blue. So it lights the night up with red, white, and blue, which is what we wanted to do to help support the Navy SEAL Foundation. Strip lighting, same type of design. It's, it, it should be set on red and blue at this time, and it just gives a neat appearance to the Jeep. And it's great entertainment for the neighborhood when you've got it home. And of course, the red, white, and blue colors are another way we play tribute to the Navy SEAL Foundation on the Jeep. Yeah, all of our, all of our great veterans. Right, so when you look inside of the Jeep, obviously we're making a statement uh, about style, but also reinforcing that whole spirit of the Navy SEAL Foundation. We've continued that matte black look with a product from Lund designed to protect protect the rocker panels on this Jeep. Greg, what'd you install here? Yeah, this is the Lund Rhino Lining Rocker Guards. Uh, it is actually a neat piece. It's made with the same type material as Rhino Liner for the truck beds, and they're all pre-cut pieces. This item has a fantastic selling point and is a perfect way to have protection along the bottom of your Jeep. Whether you're on road or off, it doesn't matter because you're going to get stones kicked up from the bigger wheels and tires and trash off the road. This protects the bottom of your Jeep. It is all pre-cut. Now, some people may end up doing some trimming, but basically you can pretty much pull this out, match it up to left and right, and just push it straight onto the Jeep, and it has a pretty nice fit. We did a little trimming on this one because Donnie is so particular about how things fit. He, he did just a very minor amount of trimming. The kit also not only does the rocker, but it does the back parts on the Jeep too. We did not utilize those because of our bumpers and the other aftermarket items we had installed. This item for $100 is a great piece that any Jeep owner, whether on road, off road, trail, or supermarket, you need this on your Jeep. You've got a great investment, this takes care of it, and it's very affordable. Well, it's got a great aesthetic value, but it's very useful to the vehicle, and it's something that adds value long-term to the vehicle because you're protecting it in one of its, one of its most vulnerable areas. Agreed, and, it, and I think it is a great add-on. It's simple to clean, and again, like I said, it's not that expensive. It can be done in the driveway, and anybody can do it. So, great protection, another awesome product from Lund. Uh, I think they did an awesome job on this one.